All right, dear Scorpio. The wish card in reverse. So nine and ten. And then the Queen of Swords. Yep, she was in your very first reading in that very same spot. So let's get into this. There is something that is coming to a close in your life, Scorpio. And she came out last time, like I said, the Queen of Swords in reverse. A Libran female is what I was getting. It could be a different air sign, um, but definitely an air sign in your life that is coming at you with some very sharp thinking, sharp words, sharp opinions. And it is flipping, it's affecting your peace of mind. It's, she's affecting your serenity in your heart um, and your day-to-day -day happiness with the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups in reverse. I feel like this is a situation on your home front, like what was coming through in the first message that I couldn't put up because the video sound quality was so awful. Um, here we go, the devil. She might have some, something to say about your patterns of behavior, your addictions, your vices, um, and she might be sick of it, Scorpio. And the nine of pentacles in reverse. You have the two of cups here. So I do feel like this is an intimate one-on-one -on -one love relationship that perhaps started when obviously you guys were younger, um, but in a time period where you both weren't perhaps making the healthiest of choices for yourselves, for in your own individual lives, and you were coming together in a way to commiserate in either partying or um, maybe abusing food or I want to say binge watching TV, not, not getting enough exercise, being a little bit stuck in the routine of being sedentary. And so oftentimes we attract people in our lives who are vibrating at our same frequency and either one of you or both of you have moved on from these patternings here, the devil card, um, because you're sick of dealing with the fallout of it. It's, it's not paying off to you. You've outgrown it. Um, whether it's drinking or some sort of recreational drug, um, or some sort of addiction. The devil card to me oftentimes comes up as the vices that we have to deal with the places in our lives that are uncomfortable. And we're human beings and our natural tendency is to want to remain comfortable. But you're not comfortable anymore. You're not comfortable with her. You're not comfortable with her energy. You're not comfortable with the way that she's talking to you expressing herself to you and it's become so disconcerting that I feel um, like you've pulled away from the situation Scorpio and you could be still cohabitating with this person but it's just that you're cohabitating and it's just a matter of time before um, the final split happens, but um, I feel like there's some entangled finances that need to be worked out before you can both fully move on. So let's move on down here to April. The Eight of Swords, the Tower, that came through in your second reading, and that came through in both readings, um, the chariot in reverse. So yeah, again, it's like you want to move forward, but you feel stuck. And stuck in a way that 
these entangled finances are worth it enough to you to stick around to uh, have to sort of tolerate this to a certain level of, I mean, you're tolerating it, but you're just, you're not wanting to engage in it because here's another stuck energy card and maybe not willing to look at your part of how you created this situation, Scorpio. Don't get mad at me. Um, I'll pull some more cards too. And the tower is like, this is happening whether you want it to or not. And I feel like you realize it's been a long time coming. And it's just, it's a culmination of, many, many years of coming to understand yourself on a much deeper level that it's just time. Um, but there's this wanting to move forward, but still needing to take care of some everyday details in order to fully do that. So what else do you have? The Seven of Swords, The Fool, that was in your first reading. Yeah, these two cards were actually together in your first reading. You're ready to move forward, um, but it's like your bags aren't even packed. In your mind, mentally, and in your heart, you're not there. You have you know, all of one foot and most of the other out the door. And maybe you're, you're traveling separately away from this person and sort of doing your own thing. But there's still this, it's like, yes, you're moving forward, but what's right behind you and, and trailing where you're moving forward still is this re residual cloud of the tower crumbling because it's so recent, and this is in your April experience. Um, however, I feel like in April, you're so much more willing and you're moving into, because the Fool is facing these two sword cards, of facing the music and taking ownership of 100% of your part in the relationship. Because, at the end of the day, Scorpio, you do love this person and you don't want to hurt anybody. And anything in the past that maybe was said out of being tired or weary or confused or wanting to make things work, but your heart really wasn't in it. So that communicated as inauthenticity and that can cause some hurt feelings in the process. I feel like you're moving forward in being willing in April to have more conversations with this person, this, this Queen of Swords person, to work things out, not to move forward with them, but to move forward your separate ways. Because you don't want this tower energy following you around, even though it is in reverse. I feel like it's already happened. Like the big blowout, the big realization that you guys are moving in different directions has already happened. Um, so it's a matter of you figuring out, Scorpio, what makes your heart sing as an individual outside of this relationship, outside of this partnership um, that is coming to a close. So, and I feel like you're, you're taking with you some hope in your heart. There's a renewed hope that is reigniting for you in the month of April. And I feel like it's towards the middle of the month around the new moon. And I forget where the new moon is happening. Um, it must be in late Aries. So where that falls in your chart. And I feel like you're coming to a place of letting go 
of certain possessions that even a short time ago you would have wanted to cling to and hold on to, um, but you're really realizing that that's not what life is about. It's not about stuff. It's not a, about what you have um, materially. It's about how you conduct yourself with people and your connections and who you are in your heart authentically how you share yourself and communicate and behave with the people in your life so this stuff that you once thought um you were trying to siphon aside as yours i feel this energy dissipating um, because it was causing you undue stress here with the eight of swords scorpio and it feels so much lighter for you to disattach from the unhealthy attachments that we have in our life. So, yes. It continues to be some pretty heavy messages, Scorpio, even though this is the third time I record it. So, it's, um, it's very similar to what I was getting before. So the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, moving out of April. You've had this card in the exact same position. And the Three of Swords, Cancer had that card. Um, and I did say in your previous video to watch the Cancer video. So even if you don't, have moon or rising cancer you might have venus in cancer or mars in cancer or something to do with cancer so check out the cancer video too um i pull clarifiers here the knight of cups three of wands sorry for the glare on those cards and the page of wands so i see your heart healing and um i feel like there's a little bit of a feeling of not despair i don't even feel like this energy compared to what you've been through the tower energy is anything to worry about or concern yourself with in in a very big way scorpio um but i feel like there might be a slight disappointment moving out of april for something you thought that was going to come to fruition didn't and there's just a slight disappointment there for you but pretty soon you're going to be picking yourself up by the bootstraps and moving forward with one of these other wands, one of these other plans, perhaps the single one that's behind you. You just have to turn around and pick it up and start moving forward. I feel like you're giving yourself the time and the space to heal your heart with the three of swords in reverse and the page of wands. Um, because I feel like you're, you're wanting to just get back to very simple basics in your love life. Like, I don't, I don't get the sense that you're running out into the dating world. I know this is a general reading and not necessarily the divine love reading. I'll do those probably later this coming week in late March. Um, but this is what's coming through. I don't feel like you're rushing out to meet other people that you want to spend some individual and not even necessarily time alone, but not having to answer to anybody, Scorpio. So I want you to do in April and moving into May around that full moon at the beginning of May some deep reflection on where you want your life to go and it comes back to this this fool card like establishing for yourself and at that point in time 
will have gotten through the Mercury retrograde energies. Um, a new direction that you will honestly and authentically feel excited about pursuing. Um, because whatever this situation is that didn't pan out, it's like I feel like you were almost pursuing it out of a lack mentality or fear and not love and trusting that the universe has your back. And it wasn't supposed to work out because it didn't. And that's going to lead you to this deep, solid questioning of where you're being divinely guided to. And I feel all of this direction here um, to the west. So maybe you'll be taking a trip, a solo trip, somewhere west of where you are. And I don't necessarily think that it has to be a very far, long journey. It could be for some of you. Um, but once you get this situation settled on the home front and moving in the direction that feels more satisfactory to your heart and to your brain, that's going to free up so much of your energy to pursue your life in a new direction, one that is stepping into a new chapter, one that is much more appropriate for where you are on your evolutionary path, Scorpio. Um, just looking here, let's see if there's anything else. So go easy on yourself. Go easy on yourself this month, Scorpio. Go easy on the people that you're dealing with, if it is, in fact, this Libra female or male. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be a female. They could have very female characteristics or qualities to them. I believe that everybody has both masculine and feminine in them anyhow. Um, let's pull a Judy Hall Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle card for you for some more soul guidance, Scorpio. This is the book. Show it to you. You can see that. So do check out your other um, videos are mostly up at this point. I'm still working on some of them for you. All right, let's pick one. Charoite, number 50. That adds up to a five, which is the number of change. I don't know if you can really see that coloring. It's like purple. It's really beautiful. Okay, what's the message for Scorpio? It's the last one in the deck. And it's labeled wound healing. Charoite provides deep physical and emotional healing. What did I say? With this three of swords here. Transmuting negative energy, it converts dis-ease to wellness. With its assistance, you recognize that your greatest trauma is also your most profound gift. Accept it with grace. Charoite re-energizes, heals, and integrates dualities. Healing past life dis-ease carried into the present life. And it also says for self-understanding, deep fears and schisms pervade your being. Yeah, what I was saying down here, like there could be some decision-making coming out of April based on fear. 
Um, you may not feel that you belong on earth. Alienation and insecurity lie beneath a deceptively calm surface. Oh, Scorpio. You can so take on a calm air about you, but inside you feel so deeply. And I know that you will be feeling things so deeply in April too. I'll read on. You are subtly driven by other people's thoughts and programs rather than your own. Your autonomic nervous system may be malfunctioning. If so, it needs recalibrating. And the divination message, time to take control. You are undergoing a vibrational change, creating links to higher realities. Visions of past lives suggest ways to redress karma personally and collectively. And in accepting the present moment as perfect, you create the space to heal. So healing wounds of the past and service and the frequency is very high. Um, so yeah, what I was channeling about releasing these negative thought patterns and the need to hold on to things out of fear I feel are being healed and released in the month of April. And yeah, healing this past trauma with these upsets and upheavals and disturbances from your past and maybe past lives like with the oracles um, just giving you for a message so that you can disattach from it and sort of sail off into this new wonderful direction that actually feels good, like down to its core, no, no faking about it. Um, but I feel like April there needs to be some healing happening so that that's um, in your experience. 